What's going on everybody? My name is Will from Ghost Hack and today I'm going to be making a hip hop beat using only FL Studio stock plugins and samples. <laughs> Now, Ghost Hack definitely does have a handful of packs that can be used for hip hop, some of which I have worked on. But uh, in this challenge, I don't want to—I don't want to use any of the previously made packs with all the kicks and the loops and the snares and all the all the good stuff. I just want to use the FL Studio stock stuff because it is honestly not bad at all. So I think how I want to start this is definitely with the kick, and I already have kind of an idea. I sort of want to take the basic 808 kick, very bassy, and kind of shorten it up and mess with the pitch here and mainly in this this like pogo tab so i want to shorten it up like this and then maybe mess with the pogo give it a more click a little bit more punch but i'm gonna run it through this eq and then a wave shaper which is just bringing it up a little bit maybe distort it That seems fine. And then I'm just going to record it out real quick. I'm mainly recording it out because there's a really sharp clicky transient. There's just a really high click right here. Nobody likes that. So most of it comes from this very front area right here at the very, like very start. So I'm just going to delete that and it should start right in phase. Yeah, it's a little better. So now I can just drag that right onto the kick, which also requires me to bring everything back to normal. That's good. And now for the snare. I actually kind of know what I want to do. I want to take this clap right there and make it real short. And then I'm going to layer it with this. This is the House Gen Snare 12. This is from the Attack Snares collection. There's a lot of snares in these mode audio drums. So with this one, I'm also going to have to lower the tail a little bit. You know, I decided to actually change the clap and the snare back to just the basic 909 clap and 808 snare like this right here. It just sounds a little more solid and it's not me getting fancy with anything. All right, so I have a basic kick and a snare now, but I before I add like hi-hats and other percussions and things like that, I kind of want to just create a melody or some kind of vibe for the song. Now I can't use Serum or Harmer or anything like that. I have to use FL Studio native plugins, but FL Studio recently came out with this new plugin called Flex. And there is a bunch of, bunch of really cool stuff in here. There's a lot of awesome kind of presets. So let's see if we can't find something that kind of sparks some inspiration. <laughs> All right, this preset right here is called Haunting Hour and it actually sounds really cool. And I really think I want to use it as kind of a background pad. So let's kind of create a pattern here. That sounds really dope. I wonder if I can almost add harmonies to this. I'm feeling that. I can already adjust these right here a little bit if I want to add more harmonics. Oh, that vibrato sounds cool. And the bass line right here for this pad. That adds some cool texture in the lower frequencies as well. Now let's add this to an effect chain. EQ, maybe ease back the lows a little bit. And let's cut a little bit at 1K. And that'll be good. When you're making hip hop, especially in hip hop, you, it's good to kind of lower down the instruments and things between like 1K and 4K, because that's where your vocal sits and you need space for that vocal to kind of pop through. I kind of want to use uh, citrus this time for the top melody. It's a cool melody. I don't think I want it with this, but I do like that idea. I got this flute right here, which I kind of enjoy. I 
and let's find around 4K and let's bump it down a little bit, like I said before. And now let's add some effects on this. Keep in mind, only FL Studio effects on this, so I'm going to throw on a phaser. And just mix that in a little bit. Also, I want to try out a gross beat. But what I want to do is kind of make my own here. I want to bring it down about a quarter of the way down here and make it single curve. This is going to make it go half the speed because this right here, if I brought it down to this line that you see right there, that would mean that it's basically playing nothing. Like it's playing a no speed. This is full speed. That's no speed. This is half speed. I like that as a layer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix this in right here. I'm just going to bring it to 50% and mix it. And now I can bring this up a little bit with a Maximus. So now let's start kind of shaping this into a track. We have this pattern here. I kind of want to split this pattern by channel. So I'm gonna right click here and go uh, split by channel. And now it has both of these separated into two. There we go, the flex and the flute. So now we can mix in these drums. And we know we're gonna have a snare on every offbeat right here. And then we're gonna have snares and things in between. So right now I'm gonna take this pad and this flute and I'm going to run it through the side chain that I already have set up. You can just use any kind of side chaining method you like. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So now I have a little bit of a kick and snare pattern going here. But that's not enough. Obviously we need hi-hats. Uh, this one right here is a classic. It works really well. But I also like this one. It's a little sharp, it's a little punchy. But there, fix it up. So now let's create a hi-hat rhythm. Let's just uh, lay all these down in an even uh, order. All right, it's already starting here. And now you gotta make some go faster, some go slower. Like, let's just go here, let's go, let's go third. Maybe that'll be cool. And then we can just add like a bunch right here. Yeah, but we wanna make it not exactly a smooth transition like that. We wanna add a step in here. Yeah, like that. And then I wanna add more of them. Now we have to pan them. And what I like to do here, it, it works really, really well in FL Studio's piano roll. Go around here, do pan, and then select these, and then pan these slightly one way or the other. So let's say I just wanna do those there, and then that there. Maybe we could even like switch off so it's panning a different way each time. Can cut the very high end right there and it just needs to be boosted up a little louder so i'm gonna just do that with a wave shaper we are definitely not done yet we need an 808 so where am i supposed to get an 808 it actually turns out that flex has a pretty good 808 we can play an 808 on the keyboard just with flex actually on second thought i'd rather use my preset that i made for 808s in citrus <laughs> I think it's a little thicker, a little cleaner. But basically I just have the pitch envelope going down here on this sine wave that's slightly kind of shaped. It's a little bit squared. It's not quite a perfect sine wave. And then the volume is also modulating like this. So it kind of falls down. But other than that, that's this is pretty much it. I just brought the pitch down. I think what I want to do is write the 808 pattern with the chords, mainly just so I know that I'm hitting the right notes. So now I have this kind of 808 melody. It sounds very high up and weird, and it is very high up. I gotta lower it down. Mm -hmm. 
And I'll just fix this end real quick so it goes up like this. And now I can just lower it down and see if it fits into the octave. All right, I think this actually works. I left it going a little too low on this side and I kept it going high up here. There's some mixing to be get done. I gotta kinda side chain the sub to the kick because it's clashing a bit up here. You can hear it a little bit. But let's just route this to 808 right there and then through the side chain. And now I want little snares, which I actually can get from the mode audio snares right here. Now I can make use of this one. What I gotta do is pitch it up a good bit, say 10 semitones and then go out. What I gotta do is I gotta limit, make sure it doesn't go too low. And definitely make sure it doesn't go too high. Rolling off that high end sounds pretty good. Now let me create an automation clip for this right here and I can kind of drop the pitch down as it's falling in this one moment. So now we've got it with some stray snares here and there. That makes it slightly more interesting, but we have one thing left and that's the sound effects. Oh, I completely forgot in the legacy part of these packs, they have some awesome hip hop sounds. Oh, these are great. But I actually found in the FBC section this symbol right here that I thought was pretty good. That I'm gonna kind of uh, blend in because it stands out like way too much right now. This needs to be just background. So this is gonna be symbol. Now let's add a load of reverb. With a lot of stereo. And also we wanna make sure that the front doesn't hit too hard, so let's just go in and then we can normalize. Now normally I would do this last bit in Serum, but I don't have Serum, I don't even have Harmer, so I'm going back to Citrus, because it's a really good plugin. I'm just gonna go Default. I'm just gonna take the saw. So I'm gonna make this shape. But I need to access the pitch here. Yeah, I don't want that quite happening, but I do want it to go up like this. This doesn't sound like the cleanest saw wave in the world, but I don't think it matters too much. All right, yeah, what I want to do now is add the unison. So now I have this. And I'm just going to lay this down. And I may have to edit this later, but I just want to throw this down right here so I can add some effects to this. Throw this in 12 and I will call this a uh, siren. It kind of sounds like a siren. Yeah, it's limited right there. Let's cut around 4K and around 1K. And what needs to happen now is it needs a delay. That's too uh, fast. And then just a lot of reverb after that. All right, and I believe for our simple FL Studio hip hop beat, that will complete it. Real quick, let me run it through a Maximus just to make sure that it is a little bit louder. And here is the final beat that we came up with. Now this is not a complex hip hop beat. I didn't do a ton of little intricate things all the time. You don't always have to, to make something good. This is just something simple I threw together using just the plugins and samples from FL Studio, nothing else. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can leave a like below. And if you didn't, you can let us know why in the comments. We love to hear from you guys, you know, feedback from these videos. It really helps us in future video creations. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Happy producing.